Thank you, Sheever. Here back with Fog, and we're getting ready to go into our second 1v1 quarterfinal matchup for DAC 2017. This is the real event. This is where the big boys come to play, and now we have Sumail, the last remaining EG member here in this 1v1, going to be going against Paparazzi here, fellow 9K god. Now, these two have played quite a bit of Shadow Fiend. Uh, based on their esports career, you have a, a bit more games going towards actually Paparazzi on this one, but the higher win rate does belong to Sumail. 53% esports win rate with uh, that Shadow Fiend. So, what do you think, though? Do you think this is going to be all Sumail? I feel like he's going to be even more fired up that he just saw Arteezy go down. I, I think it's going to be Sumail. I think this is something that he is like very comfortable with, even chatting with them a little bit, too, chatting with Sumail and with uh, Phil. He is a big adamant 1v1 or still. I know a lot of people don't really do it too often anymore. Sumail has been mm -hmm. one that always did. Arteezy used to be the big one who always used to, and we used to see the public lobbies kind of go up, and you could do, see that. But Sumail still does do those. He's very experienced in this one. He already has his entire items queued out. He's ready. He's got Jeez. three salves put in his quick buy. Tango, some mangoes. Let's compare that to Paparazzi over What's here. What's Paparazzi's got okay, put in his quick buy? He's got some cues good to go. He's got a ward. Simba, he's got a nice early ward. Okay, mm -hmm. queued up. Mm -hmm. All right, 18 seconds. Fairy here we fire go. instead of the branch. Okay. Arteezy okay. did the fairy fire too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Juggling around the branches, looking to feel good. The block, and I'm glad it is part of this 1v1. Super important right out of the gate. You're looking to kind of achieve that high ground advantage. A we'll paparazzi to trying to do it. the Arteezy block. Getting that creep to not go down the left so he can get at the block, block properly, but unable to do so. Creep does go left, and he well, he does get a perfect block anyway, so we'll so see. So far, they're both having a both pretty very solid even. block right now. Looking pretty good. Who's going to get towards that tower first? It's actually a real close one here. Oh, this might be this might be pretty even here. Oh, it looks like maybe Pop, barely. Maybe. Oh, 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 maybe. That's 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 oh. that's pretty much. Oh, Sumail got it oh. slightly. Sumail wins. Slight advantage. Sumail wins. Just next slightly, but now becomes the aggro pulling adventure here. Try to aggro the fellow Shadow Fiend. Get the creeps to come attack you. But Sumail with the important. first last hit. Gets the range deny. Oh, I want to get the first range creep, and oh. so does Paparazzi. So range creeps are secured for both of them. This is very important to secure yeah, range creep in the mid lane. But you want to get those necromastery stacks built up here earlier. You can begin to snowball that much faster. Uh, easy ones there for Paparazzi on his own high ground. Two to two already with this first wave. Very even. Nice salve already being expended from both of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll pull another one up there. Paparazzi. As the wave, oh. nicely on his side, but Sumil. Oh, Paparazzi getting a bit ahead now. Yeah, smacks him with the raise. That's a very good raise. I don't think Sumil expected that one. Confident start for Paparazzi. My God. Oh, Sumil missing last hit under tower here. Just okay. one though. Three though, still falls. All right, two Fine. range creeps for Paparazzi. He's going to be putting a little bit of pressure onto mm. Sumil. But Sumil uses a raise just to push that equilibrium back into his favor slightly. Yep. Now he's got the, the wave. Gets and the high ground control. advantage too. Got it. 5-1 for Paparazzi, 4-2 Sumail. Goes for the raise to get the last hit yeah, on the range nice. creep. Now he's going to go for the deny on the range, oh. but the raise coming out from nice. Paparazzi he as well. Needed, he needed that. Gets the last hit on Paparazzi does get a range creep deny. That's super important, as we've been mentioning over and over again. It's level 3 now for Paparazzi, only 2 and 3 quarters for Sumail. That's a big one. It's a big one early on. There's an early power peak with these Shadow Fiends. Once they get another level into that raise, you could see the tri raise come out with one swift misposition. Sumail. Asserting his dominance. He's very healthy compared to Paparazzi, who was sitting at mm. about 55% HP. Pump faking. The He's third going time. for the double raise. He doesn't want to use his furthest range. You always want to be able to do that. Whenever you're playing Saddlefin, you always want to use the, the sh closest range to you first. Yeah. All right. Sumail so steps back off again, but it is Paparazzi who has the kind of high ground positioning for now. Oh, Thunders. it breaks the clarity instantly. That's nice. big by Sumail there. Goes into his salve. And, uh, so you know we'll get handed off. Mango this time. More little treats this time. Yeah, the mango. Sumail getting bullied a little bit back. Mm. Does have the salve. Deny coming out from Paparazzi again. It's Paparazzi with six denies, 11 Ooh. last hits. Just a slight advantage over Sumail right now. Yep, yep. The levels and the extra bit of damage here favoring Paparazzi. I'm just looking at their faces right now. This is great. They are in it right now. Mango consumed by Sumail. Lots of pride. I mean, imagine how awesome it would be Paparazzi to walk away. The prestige that is above the head of Sumail, even in China, is very, very high. Paparazzi could definitely brag about that to the ladies. He gets the win. Absolutely. Sumail, it's all on him. I mean, I would say it's definitely be an upset if he was the one to be taken down here. So it's a little bit of pressure, but as you mentioned, he is a well-versed 1v1. Yep, Paparazzi puts his mid ward down. 
Okay, this is where he gets the extra benefit of the vision. Sumail, not about that whole new ward life. That is uh, Oh, Sumail, that was him. unfortunate there. Gets blocked by his two melee creeps as he's trying to back up. Gets oh, a nice range. Doesn't get the last hit, though, with it. 18 to 8, Paparazzi's opening Paparazzi's up. Paparazzi's starting a to bit of a distance between him and Sumail now. Yep. Getting almost a half level advantage now because of those several range creep denies which he has gotten. Paparazzi was trying to take this into like more of a nutrition thing and not looking to go for the plays. He is off to a good start while Sumail could instead try to go for lots of uphill misses miss coming up for Sumail. Okay, straight up raise trade. Okay, swing it out a bit. Sumail's pretty low here. Has to pop his south. Back they go. Four minutes in. Four and a half or so for Sumail and about to be five for Paparazzi. You can get that level three raise. New guy coming out on the courier this time, Sumail. Some more regen delivered. Paparazzi as well. Okay, Paparazzi moving on in. Trying to break, break the clarity, but actually doesn't do so. With oh, wait, sorry, that was Sumail. Apologies. Okay, does get it this time. Okay, all right. Ooh, Sumail with a little oh. bit of a misclick there, it might seem. Oh, oh no, no. Paparazzi's he gonna break down. down. Paparazzi oh, no. with the upset. Now, he's gonna call GG too. Not about that two kill life. That's not what 1v1s are all about. He knows that there's not much of a chance to come back. He is not about playing it any further. He knows Ooh. that this one goes to Paparazzi. Slight misplay there. Oh. Just stepping down the hill, gets caught, gets blocked Man. by a couple melee creeps, and Paparazzi claims the win. Like you said, we might see a five-minute one for the next one, and very good call there. <laughs>